Welcome to the Billy Up Bar. This is going to be a special day. Uh, we're going to make a Mai Tai, my signature bar drink. I've been testing these out over the years, about 50, and uh, all of them are pretty good. I think this one will uh, wow you. Let me show you how to make it. First, we're going to uh, cut up a lime. This is a pretty good one. Nice and glazy on the outside. I use my thumb to do the squeezing. Gonna call for one lime juice. And what I like to do Cut a little bit of the lime up. Put it in the bottom of our glass. This will be our ultimate my my tie glass. Everything's gonna go. Okay, so lime is done. So we'll start building the drink. I'm gonna use a Hamden Estate. This is a single Jamaican rum, about 68 a bottle. Uh, this comes in at 92 percent. There's another one that's uh, a little bit higher. This one will do the trick. So we want to do three quarters of this. And a half of Appleton Estate Reserve. This is the eight year. quarter of the Smith and Cross. This is uh, another Jamaican rum, 114 proof. Lots and lots of flavor in this one. And we're going to put in one of the bowls orange curacao. I would suggest you don't uh, vary from this. I've tried uh, about six different uh, ones. They're either too bright, too sweet, too alcoholic. There's always something that uh, doesn't suit the uh, drink. Anyway, this one works for me. One of those. And we're going to do three quarter of Orger. This is Lieber and Company. Very good stuff. Very rich. Uh, this pretty much makes the drink and with this you don't need a lot of extra sugary things in there so we're going to do three quarters of this and one Persian lime juice the kind you get at the store hope this is going to be enough yeah just right all right I'm going to shake that up with some ice. About 14 times that time. Put that in our Mai Tai glass. Put the whole thing in there. And one more step. I'm going to do a half of the Whalers. This is from Kentucky. This has a very smoky taste to it. Not much aroma, but this will make the drink. Nice dark color. Just float that over the top. It darkens up the drink just right. Most of the Mai Tais come out kind of bland. As you can see, that's got a nice perfect dark hue to it and then we're going to put in a little mint on the side and I would suggest you do not use a straw you want the uh, nose to get as close to the mint as possible uh, however the straw is good for stirring so if I put in a non sipping straw just a little, little black one here for, for stirring 
And there you have it. This is my bar signature Mai Tai. I'm almost sure you're going to like this one. Thanks for watching.